Okay, common question I get asked is can I survey with any GPS receiver and landform with another um, machine control system? Um, firstly, I generally recommend surveying with the same equipment that you're going to landform with, but I understand that people, you have contractors who may survey and then uh, landformers who may landform. But uh, in our operation, we survey and landform with the same, um, it might be the same actual piece of equipment, but it's the same um, model and brand, and also the same firmware in that, in that um, piece of equipment, because there can be slight differences. Anyway, but if you do want to survey with some uh, one model of GPS receiver and then landform with another, there's, there's a, um, a check that I recommend you do first. Um, the reason for this is that um, there can be subtle differences between the coordinate systems of different GPS equipment. Um, just and just a brief um, explanation on that: the GPS system, the raw coordinate systems are latitude, longitude, and altitude in a coordinate system that is called WGS84. But to convert that, there's a conversion to take it to Eastings, Northings and Elevation that we usually use for our, um, uh, our calculations and, um, and our designs as well. So that, that could sometimes be called X turned X, Y and Z. Um, but it's basically a a measurement in the Eastings direction, north, north direction and elevation. Now the issue is that there are different ways to convert latitude, longitude and altitude to Eastings, northern elevation. A common one is called UTM but there are many others and some and there's some proprietary ways of doing it. So some GPS um, hardware may have a, their own way of doing it. And they're generally similar ways of doing it, but um, over distance they can creep off from each other. So what you need to do is check before you do um, your landforming with um, a certain survey, you need to check that they both match up. Um, and I'll just explain that now. Okay, so the best way to do that is to uh, set up your both systems with the base station wherever you want, it's not critical, but then mark out four benchmarks. Let's call them A, B, C and D. Now those benchmarks should be probably at least a kilometre away from each other, or half a mile away from each other, to make sure that we get a, a decent check. And then what we want to do is go to each one of these locations with our GPS, oh sorry, our survey receiver and measure the, um, the coordinates of that point in, and you want it in Eastings, Northings and Elevation. Um, and then measure the, put your landforming equipment, your blade on that same location and and uh, measure the the same um, Eastings, Northings and Elevation, it might be called um, XYZ on your equipment. Record that on a piece of paper. So here, we, this is an example of, of um, a piece of paper, you might write this down. So system 1.1, one, one, we've got that Eastings, Northings and Elevation. And then for system 2, at the same point we've got an Eastings, Northings and Elevation. Now they might be thousands of um, metres off or even hundreds of thousands of metres away from each other. That's not critical at this point. We're trying to get the relative difference between the two systems as we move away from one point. So write that down at each point, drive around, record, and then uh, so you end up with this table here with these coordinates and then all you have to do is calculate the difference between these numbers. So we want to calculate the difference between Eastings um, for point one 
and put that number there. And then the same with northings, put that number there, and elevation, put that number there. Now, ideally, they, those, that difference um, will be a constant difference. So all the eastings would be the same difference. So it could be, say, I'll just pick a number, that could be 101.111, let's say. And then if these are all 101.111 or close to it, then your eastings are between the two coordinate systems are quite similar. And the same for northings and elevation. Now, ideally they should be to the accuracy of the GPS receivers, which is in, which is around, you know, is in the order of, um, for RTK grade survey equipment, which you should be using for these operations. It should be in the order of, um, let's say, 30 millimetres in XY, uh, sorry, in Eastings, Northings, in elevation, hopefully better. Um, but we have seen differences of, of um, metres, um, like, uh, you know, 15 metres um, over over one kilometre. So the problem with that is that if, if you do a design on a large field that's one kilometre long, at, if you're working that field with your landform equipment, when you get to that, the furthest point away from the master benchmark that this could be rotating around, then you could be 15 metres out in the, in the horizontal location. And then obviously the Z if there's a if there's a change in the elevation, that's I have seen tilts, slight tilts in different between different um, GPS systems. So um, the elevation is even more critical. Like even a even a you know a forty millimeter or fifty millimeter difference over that is, is very significant. So um, so yeah, that's that's basically how you check, and if they don't match up, then your only option is to try and repair this conversion, fix this conversion method up, so that they do produce the same Z-Sings northern elevation. Um, sometimes you can work out what that conversion is. Sometimes it's proprietary, and you won't you won't be able to work it out, and you so there's no real solution except to survey and landform with the same equipment. Okay, thanks for watching and if, uh, if you've got any questions, if, you've got, if you collect some of this data and you want to send it to me, I'll be happy to uh, have a look at it and give you my thoughts. Um, thanks for watching.